My Oreo pie crust recipe is easy and delicious. It's the perfect crust for desserts like cheesecake, strawberry pie, and of course, Oreo pie. I am using one 14.3 ounce container of Oreos, but of course you could use some other chocolate sandwich cookie. I am using two thirds of that container or 9.5 ounces or 266 grams. I think it's around 23-ish cookies. The first step in the recipe is to crush the cookies. I don't have a food processor, so I'm just going to crush them in a bag with a rolling pin. I am going to crush the entire cookie, so I'm not going to remove the cream filling. Like I said, I'm just literally going to put these into a bag. I am using a quart size bag. Make sure that the bag is big enough. Push out the air. And then take your rolling pin or even your hand. If you don't have a rolling pin, I'm sure you could put the bag on the floor and just step on it. Now is your opportunity to take out your frustration in life on an inanimate object. After about a minute or two, I'm done crushing the Oreos into crumbs. The next step is to melt the butter. Here I have one stick or eight tablespoons of unsalted butter. I'm gonna put this into the microwave, melt it, and then add in the crushed Oreo. I just finished melting the butter. It took about a minute on high. Now I'm going to add in my Oreo cookie crumbs. But first I'm going to look in the bag to see if there are any big crumbs that I didn't get. Squash them with my fingers really quickly and then pour them in. And once they are in the, in the bowl, I am going to stir to combine. Now is the point when if you want to, you can add a little bit of extra flavor to the Oreo cookie crust. Maybe an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, maybe a teaspoon of vanilla. One thing that I think would be really good is maybe about a teaspoon of instant coffee. A lot of options, but honestly, I think that just the butter and the Oreo cookie crumbs is going to be great. Here I have one nine inch pie plate and all I'm going to do now that the butter and Oreo crumbs are thoroughly combined, I'm just going to empty them into my pie plate and press them in. I am going to use my hands because I think that very often your hands are your best tool, but if you want to use the bottom of a measuring cup or the bottom of a glass, that is an option as well. Notice how I'm going from the middle outwards and when I push towards the rim of the pie plate, I'm going to use my other hand to spin the pie plate. And if it gets to the point where I'm pushing the crumbs up the side of the pie plate and it's starting to go over, I'm just gonna take a small knife, cut it off and put it back towards the middle of the pie crust where it looks like I need some more cookie crumbs. And now, just a few minutes later, my no-bake Oreo crust is now done. Like I said, the key is to use your hand or a glass or a measuring cup to press near the edge and press it up along the rim. Using your other hand to spin the pie plate and also to help push back the crumbs and for example here, if the crumbs start to get a little too high, using a small knife to cut them back and then putting them where it looks like the crust is a bit thin. 
you could definitely bake this pie crust if you wanted to. I would bake it at 350 for 10 minutes and then see how it is. Because like with most things, you can always bake it for longer or add more of an ingredient, but you can't take away. But like I said, this is a no-bake crust, so I'm going to just put this in the refrigerator for two to three hours to let it harden. And then I am going to use it for a pie. Although your Oreo pie crust should be ready after two to three hours in the refrigerator, I let mine sit overnight. As you can see, I wrapped it in a produce bag just so that it didn't dry out since, like I said, I did leave it in the refrigerator for a bit of time almost 20 hours actually. Here is the finished crust. You can see it's firm to the touch. It smells incredible. If you like Oreos, you will absolutely love this Oreo crust recipe. Like I said, you can use it for a ton of things. Cheesecake, strawberry pie, some sort of cream pie, but I'm gonna use it in an Oreo pie. This no-bake Oreo pie crust recipe turned out great. With only two ingredients and a few minutes, I made the perfect base for many desserts. This crust would be perfect for things like cheesecake, brownies, as well as pudding pies. Like a no-bake Oreo pie. Recipe coming soon. I also experimented with a kind of lemon icebox pie. I really like the combination of chocolate and citrus, and even though this pie did not look as great as I would have liked, it definitely tasted delicious. My only real critical comment is that since this is a no-bake pie crust recipe, it doesn't hold together as well as a baked crust. I noticed that when I make a baked graham cracker crust versus a no-bake graham cracker crust, the no-bake crust definitely does not hold together as well when I try to cut the pie. And this Oreo pie crust was the same. If you want to get nicer slices, I would definitely bake the pie crust maybe 355 Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Also, even though I think it's already good, if you did want to add a little bit of extra flavor, I think maybe you could add half a teaspoon of vanilla, a dash of salt, or maybe up to, like I already said, one teaspoon of instant coffee. So if you want to start a chocolate-based dessert off right, be sure to make this no-bake Oreo pie crust recipe. It's easy and delicious, and I know you'll love it. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.